here to harm you. Please calm down and stop your screaming. But please stop. No, do not try to run, please. I don't want to harm you. Do not go, please. I'm sorry I, I had to do that, but I want to check if you're safe and if no threat to me. Well, I am a slime and doing that is the only way I can learn something about a person so quickly. I also needed to learn how to speak with you so that you wouldn't be as scared of me since I am like this. I am sorry for what I did, though. It was a sudden thing and would have scared you. It did not hurt you, did it? You enjoyed it? Hmm, well that is not a surprise since my obtained knowledge says that you enjoy something called ASMR which causes a pleasant feeling in your body. Well, um, I'm sorry to ask this, but can I do it again to you? You see, I learned that your brain is a delicate thing that can get damaged easy, and I need to make sure I did not leave any of myself in your head. When I first went in, Zach could cause harm to you with my slime. So I will need you to remain perfectly still. Last I go back in and check. Is that okay? Good. Here I go then. <laughs> Your nucleus of contents is going haywire, and that means you really are enjoying this feeling. <laughs> it's a region in the basal forebrain rostral to the preoptic area of the hypothalamus and controls the pleasure that you feel. But you already knew that. So I have no clue why I'm repeating it to you inside of your own head. Thing on your head, and I was scared that you made that 
be safe and it was for an experiment that I want to save you and you know the rest. Hmm. Oh my god. How did I manage to get so much slime inside here? I swear I wasn't in here for long. Right. I feel like I've gotten all of me back now, so it's time to get out of your head. There, you should be slime free now in your head, so you don't need to worry about anything bad happening. So, um, you're not going to tell the lab guys where I am, are you? I mean, you could keep me here too as well. <laughs> I do not take up much space as I can morph my body at will, so it is convenient. And I eat anything, and can digest anything when I want to. So I could eat any leftovers and scraps that you do not want. So food will be no problem, too. There is also the positive of the fact that I can clean you, too, by engulfing you and dissolving all of the bad stuff. So, uh, now that you know the positives of having me around, would you like to be able to keep me? <laughs> you will? Oh, thank you for not sending me back to those creepy lab people. Now, shall I say my thanks or give pain? Oh, I know. There. That is how you humans show appreciation, right? No? Oh. It seems I have much more to learn from you. What would you like then? You want me to fuss your brain again? <laughs> well then, just stand still and let me do my thing. <laughs> oh, little you. You really enjoying this feeling, huh? Well then, let me see what more I can do. Do you like that? Feeling like I am inside you, but behind your brain? Or maybe here, in front of it? Or what about starting on the left? I'm working my way through your brain to the right side. Maybe then you just like it when I assault it all at once. You don't need to answer me though. I already know the answer to this question. Your brain has already told me and I know everything about you. Like how I can feel you getting sleepy now. Your eyes are getting heavy, slowly closing on you. Your body feeling heavy with your shoulders dipping and your muscles easing up. Oh, little human, you don't need to worry. You can just Good night.